I'm Ashley Esqueda, and it's time for another installment of Just Show Me on Tekka TV, where we take your tech toys and gadgets and show you how to get the most out of them. Today, I'm going to show you something really cool, how to make vintage movies on your iPad or iPhone. I'm using an iPad because we can see the interface a lot better, but you can also do this on your iPhone. Now, if you've ever really enjoyed the look of 8mm film, you now have that ability to do it digitally via an iOS device. Let's check it out. You'll need two different apps to accomplish this vintage look on your iPhone or iPad. The first one is iMovie, which is $4.99 in the App Store, and it's made by Apple, and it's a very easy way to edit any video footage that you shoot on your iOS devices. The second one is the important one, 8mm HD. Now, this is an app that actually allows you to have beautiful vintage filters live while you shoot, making it a simple way to get that old school feel. So first you'll want to shoot some video. So open up 8mm, choose the beautiful filter that you would like to use. There are things like Pela, Sienna, and 1920s film. You can choose some different options. So play around with the interface and see what you like. And you wanna make sure of one particular option. You wanna go into My Reels, which is the film strip on the lower left side. And you wanna open your settings. Your autosave is the very first option. Now by default, it says autosave to my reels. You want it to save to your camera roll. So check off camera roll and then click on done. And once we're done with that, we can shoot. I'm gonna choose X Pro because I really like how that looks. It gets this really kind of dark 70s cool feel to it. So we're gonna shoot that. Now that we're done shooting our video, we wanna edit it together. So open up iMovie and we can start a new file with the plus sign on the bottom, and it'll ask us if we'd like to make a project or a trailer. Let's choose project. Now once we choose new project, we can tap on the film strip so it'll allow us to choose from our camera roll. Now, like I said earlier, you wanna make sure that your eight millimeter is saving to your camera roll or you won't see those pictures or video in here. First, you want to choose your project settings by tapping on the gear in the upper right corner of your project. And once you do that, you'll be able to see a bunch of really cool themes that iMovie can apply to your project. And you can toggle theme music, looping background music, a fade in and a fade out from black right here in the toggle area. So let's say I want to have some theme music. And let's say that I want to fade in and fade out in my movie. You can choose those there and then tap on the gear when you're done making your choices. Let's go ahead and pick one of our sequences that we shot. Choose how long we'd like the clip to be by dragging the yellow dots left and right. And once we're done choosing the length of the clip, we can hit the blue arrow and it will put it right into our timeline. Let's go ahead and add a second clip to our movie. So I think I like this one. Now when you add that second clip, you might want to have something transition between the two videos that you have. So the little triangles that are white pointing at each other is a transition button. So if you tap on that, you'll get two other triangles that are yellow. And by tapping on those, you'll get an expanded view of your transition. So you're actually able to drag these yellow dots to choose the length of your transition. And when you're done, you can tap on the two yellow triangles to close out that transition. Now you can add your own tweaks, additions, or multiple clips beyond the two that we've added until your movie is exactly the way you want it. And when you're ready, we can export the movie. So all we have to do is actually go back to our main screen, which is the star on the page in the upper left corner, and when it goes to the main page of iMovie, you'll see we have multiple projects available to us. Now by tapping on the share button, which is the rectangle with the arrow pointing out of it, you'll get a few different options. You can share the movie to your camera roll, which will download the finished movie to your iPad or iPhone. You can upload it to YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, or even CNN iReport if you're capturing something that is newsworthy. You can also send the project to iTunes. If you just wanna see the movie, all you have to do is tap on the play button right next to the share button to the left. You'll have to agree to prepare your video for optimal playback and your iPad or iPhone will let you know it's optimizing your footage for viewing. Once that's complete, you'll get to see your entire movie finished and ready to share with friends and family. And that's how to make vintage movies with your iPad or iPhone. 
That's it for Just Show Me on Tekka TV. Be sure to check out Tekka.com for all of our other content, and we'll see you next time.